occasion how much the crowd would love to see Sung Ji Hyun take a title on home ground here. Mixed doubles will follow that, of course, in the Chinese affair. And men's singles will finish off the finals day here. So the court officials are ready in place for the second of our finals here this afternoon at the Victor Memorial Open. The world number one ranked pair, Matthias Bo and Karsten Morgensen from Denmark. The number six seeds because they are a new partnership for Lee Yong Day. This is his ninth appearance in a final here at the Korea Open. When you consider he's only 24 years of age, that is remarkable. He's already won five titles as Lee Yong Day, three men's doubles and two mixed doubles as well. Wolfgang Lund, our umpire from France, just conducting the first of his duties, the toss of the coin. Players will decide they win the toss if they which end of the court they wish to start or whether they wish to serve or whether they wish to receive. It's a choice of three options and it's quite clear the Koreans have decided they want this near side of the court to start this final. Well, one thing's for certain. Every single point won by the Koreans will be greeted with loud applause. Matthias Bo, the left-hander, the 32-year-old, world number one. Their yeah, win-loss record for last year translated into five finals, winning three of them. The European Championships, the China Super Series, and of course the Super Series finals at the end of the year. Carsten Bogerson, 29 years of age. And of course, as a pair, they did win this title back in 2009. Beat her certainly Yong Day in that final, but then he was playing with Jung Jae Sung. And as far as their matches so far are concerned, all of them won in two straight games. Yeah. Go. Well, we were actually, uh, the Danes did go the full distance in yesterday's semi final against the number seven seeds, Hong Wei and Shen Ye, the Asian champions in the quarter final as well, Kim Ki Jung and Kim Sa Arang. It is the Koreans, I do beg your pardon, I got it all wrong, didn't I, about the, the Danes. It is the Koreans who have won all of their matches in two straight games. World ranking has gone up two places this week to number 10 in the world. It's the highest they've been as a pair. But of course, Go Sung Hyung, there he is, the 25-year-old who went to university in Busan. And there is 24-year-old Lee Yong-dae. 
win-loss record for last year. Very impressive indeed, as indeed is their career win-loss record. Prior to this event, they played a total of 10 tournaments as a pair, reached seven finals and won six titles. So now 11 tournaments, eight finals. Wolfgang Lund, Grace Cheer from Singapore, is our service judge. Absolutely packed arena here. Lee Young Day is an absolute mega star in sporting terms. Met each other once previously. And that was in the final of the China Super Series event. Matthias Bernkast and Mogensen won in two straight games on that occasion. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how far has Go and uh, Lee developed from the last time they played uh, Karsten and Matthias, especially Go. Ladies. Yeah, especially when you and consider they had to qualify for that. On my right, rating. Matthias Bohr and Karsten Mogensen, Denmark. <laughs> On my left, Ko Song Hoon, Yong Den, Korea. Matthias Gould to serve to Eon Deng, Lovo, play. So the world number ones, the European champions from Denmark, far side of the court, the left and right handed combination. I said that the home fans would cheer every single point won by the Koreans. I didn't realise it would be as loud as that. Fantastic. What an atmosphere. The Korean pair also show signals to each other. for that then uh, the Danes are in trouble. And that, that's why he needs to be a little bit careful and a little bit more patient. And you can see Leon Day straight away telling him One, that's, that's not needed. Two. Exciting start here to the match. Defense there, and he, he, he's 
so far in the start have been very good in this defense. And that's something that's really needed for the Koreans. So I guess over. But one thing that's very Three. important for them, one thing they really oh. lost a, on the last time they played the day, Matias and Carsten, is the set play situation, the service situation. It, it's, uh, that's where the points are. And so far they already lost twice. Uh, on a flick server now, he's flicking out, uh, so they need to be better than that. Oh, confusion, got in each other's way. It was a real opportunity for the Koreans. Start the Korean pair, but they're still behind, and that's frustrating as a player. Again, good sign for the Korean goal. Not afraid of challenging, playing it back to the net. And as you see, Matias straight away sees goes and then it tries to play it back at the net because he wants to challenge go. But go has been ready here in the start. Fantastic rally. So it's over. Lazua, Danish coach, shouting advice. Well, we didn't actually see it, but I can see it after that rally. Yeah, well, we are seeing it now, almost seeing it. Matthias Vo giving a really piercing look towards his opponents. That's exactly what they need. Uh, they need to find that channel play so the front guy can get in. And that was three easy. Well, not easy, but three quick Five. points from yep. the Danes. And that's the difference. That's what they're so successful at, at the minute in the World uh, And there's been a lot of fight here in the beginning. Koreans haven't really played bad, 
but they're behind three. Five. Oh, eight five. Good return. It's gone long. Nine five. Of course. Well, we're seeing Carsten Mogensen while Matthias Bowe was having a word with the umpire. Not quite sure what that was about. are to be Ten. a little more successful they need Five. to get away from Matthias at the net now they made four returns straight over his head and he's so good at coming that one they need to find the gap between Matthias and Carter to find a, a way out of the service situation there's way too many easy points for him. he again plays it into Matthias and he's he's too good there Six straight points interval. for the Danes. And they go to the mid-game interval to almost silence from the crowd. Yeah, which is important for the Danish pair to take uh, the crowd out of this match. Just eight minutes of play. Well, we talked earlier in the week, haven't we, Jim, about Matthias Bow and his outstanding qualities at the front of the court. But, you know, if he is under pressure and he's made to defend one side and the other, then sometimes he can get himself in a bit of a tangle. Yeah. It's an area that he's tried to work on, but in all fairness, in all honesty, it is still perhaps an area that he could improve a little more. There's an area that other players could exploit. Yeah. Play. to come forward if they're to, to have a chance. <laughs> Smart play by Lee. Finding the backhand side of Carsten. Seven. Eleven. Us, just as we just saw the ladies uh, double with, uh, with Wang and, and Ju. Uh, then in, in the Danes, it would be to get cast so to the front court and keep Matthias at the back. It uh, would be, would be uh, a good position for the Koreans, just as for the Danes, of course, is to get go to the front court and leave the back. Um, but that's well, easier said than done. Seven. Smash from Carsten Morgensen. No, he's never been one of the biggest hitters in World Badminton, but I think he's probably more effective with his with his smash than virtually any other player. Because it's his placement and angle, which is Seven. so good. Please, please play up. Effective thing that last time 
Matthias has in there are attacking the is the angle and placement of that smash just Eight, and then 13. from there they wrote the rotation they have especially for the left-handed right-handed combination is, is uh, very very effective see Matthias there he never from that position he would never give away the attack keeps the net Shot is over. And that's what happened eventually. They will get in their favorite position, and Cast is just so good here. Now he's been hitting it really steep for the whole match, and as you see now, he hits it high, and there's no way that Go can be standing there doing it, even if anything effective from his defensive stand there. So, Dancer player, very tactically smart. 14 8. Smart shot by Matthias, doesn't 15. use the full smash, plays it instead, and then go using too much power, hitting it out of the back. Lorraine's former partner, center there, Jim J. Sight. Yeah. Park, and Hatuk one. Pretty good combination sitting there. <laughs> Correction of umpire overruling the line Sorry, judge. He was called good. 16. Umpire no. Wolfgang Lund from France correcting the call. I thought it was the right decision made in the end. Yeah, it was wide. Yeah. But perhaps Matthias Bowe's reaction to that may be an influence on the umpire. I, I, I don't believe in the tactic that the Koreans are playing right now. You know, it, it, it should be visible by now. 17-9, they just be standing there in defense and lifting it up. It's not going to work. They have to come up with a way different play, uh, challenging. More. Service for call. I'm actually a little bit disappointed in them right now. I thought they were going to... The, the, the kind of game that they've had the last couple of days has not been like this. 10, so, uh, 17. Hopefully they... They learn from this. And continuously plan to win and that is to try and challenge on these things they've done it a few times But 
still better than just lifting it high. Yeah. So. 13, 17. Well, the eight-point deficit has been halved. Only four points in it now. Good serve. Disciplined. You have to be disciplined. 19, now they've had success 16. all the way up to 16, but playing it back to the net, suddenly going back to what didn't work. And you're not going to win. You're not going to break into the best, uh, to the medals and Olympic gold medals if you're not disciplined. Carsten and Matthias are a perfect example of it. If you're disciplined, you can take it really yeah. Shocking. Shocking. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> And that's something that I think Go and especially this Korean pair needs to realize if they are disciplined. 17. They can take it really 19. Fun. between points. Oh, 
スは理想が20 game points. Easy for me to say. Sitting here watching. A player of his standard normally would. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of nerves there. Definitely nerves. Two game point opportunities. For Matthias Bro and Carsten Morgensen. It's gone long. Goodness me. Nerves are jangling all around. Nineteen twenty. Trying to long. The return of serve was an net cord shuttle bounced on the top of the tape, made it very difficult for Lee on day to control the lift. And he lifted long. And it means that the number one seeds, the world number ones, Matthias Bow and Carsten Mogensen, have taken the opening game 21 19 in 24 minutes of play. nervous at the end of that opening game, didn't it? Oh. And without stating the absolute obvious, it is so important for One. the audience, for the home Love. players and for the home fans, there's so much expectation. They've lost the opening game, they have to make a good start yeah, to the second. They have to make a good start, but I think they have to, you know, start as they finish the second set and, and keep that game plan. I think it was very vital for them that they could see, they could actually do that. They, 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 they can actually have challenge the Danes in, in that game and win. Um, that's, that's, I think, it's important not only for this match but for the future because I think that's some of the problems they've been having. And you can also see Gona now, he's not afraid of coming forward and taking the net. See? Much different, much different style of play right now. Much different style. And if he gets that, in, that extra thing into his game, he can be very, very, very good. He's very good, I know that. But he can be very, very, very good. Yeah. Uh, um, and that's something, and, I, and I've seen when the, when, when the Danes are played, that's something they've been using against the Three. career. Like, Love. Good start here, just as you said. Shows the other side to start Love. with because yeah. I think there's a lot of drift 
from which side the Danes are standing on, or the, start, the, the side that the Korean chooses to be on first. And we have to remember if it's a third so set, the changing sides One, at, at the four. middle of uh, the set. So. Uh, Am I having a senior moment, or has that changed from earlier on in the tournament? The way the drift is going. Uh, no, I think actually you're right. It, it has, has changed. changed. It has changed. They can't control it, no. so uh, both Five. Koreans just jumping forward. One. And that's something that uh, viewers need to understand, that that's something that is really, really important. Six. One. If you see that rally again, we see Go doing the right thing, playing it short to the net, and he's definitely coming forward. But then from now on, he should be covering the net. And he just dumps it heads, keep his racket down, and he's too easy to play it around. And from now on, Lee has to cover the full court. So um, get your racket up when you play the net. This is a family look, program. Look, yeah, I know, I know. But look, look, just after the, he's looking. Ah, we, we're showing it, but. It is remarkable, though, to me. I mean, I, I've been watching badminton for so many years, and I was playing for so many years. So, it's difficult for people to understand just what an influence a drift can have on a match. You know, we're seeing it right here. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Nice so play from Carsten Mogensen. Well, it's they, people can just go outside in the garden and play badminton outside and see how much... The <laughs> wind effects, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Affects that. Yeah. It's just got, of course, it's not so much as if you're outside, but that is actually uh, what's At happening. At this level, yeah. it, it makes a tremendous difference, yeah. Again, thought he was taking too long to get back onto court. And uh, we spoke about Danes, of course, Four, with the drift eight. with them. They're not interested in changing the shuttle because a new shuttle is always faster than a used shuttle. So they can control the defense. Singapore, making the pool. Nine, 
five. Right hip, six. But again, Go yeah, here the Koreans, you know, try to find a gap in the front court. Why lift that first shot? You know, um, they've just shown us for the start, uh, end of the first and the start of the second, that they're actually very good at it. So, just applying the grip powder on six. the racket handle. That no. makes it easier to hold on to the racket. It's a little bit. Tacky, and you can get a good rip in there. Feel with the fingers on the rack hand. Oh. Oh. A bit lucky there, go. Again, from a good position on the front court, he lifts, and look how much pressure he puts himself on. Ten. Six. Yeah, we were talking the other day, weren't we, about the Koreans and especially Lee Yong Day. If there's any sort of a weakness in his game, it's the fact that when he does defend, he's so <laughs> deep. That's the case for both the Korean players. But they've got a nice little advantage here, a five point advantage at the mid game interval. But as we saw in the opening game, sort of advantages are not necessarily decisive. So a run of seven straight points by the Koreans to come back close in the second game. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. service judge. Now Bo is talking to the umpire. We're not seeing it. I can tell you that he's quite heated. Now he's having a word with the I think what it is. Good umpiring. Very good umpiring. Just to explain Six. here, the fact is, we have a service judge whose sole responsibility is to look at the serve. And when they see a fault, and there's numerous service rules, the shuttle must be stuck below the waist, the racket must be pointing in a downward direction, only one forward motion of the racket got feet on the floor. feet on the floor, strike the cork of the shuttle first and so on. But the service judge has a clear hand signal to indicate to the players why they pulled the ball. There should never be any reason for the player then to have to go and speak to the service judge because they have already told them with the hand signal what the fault was for. Exactly. Yes. So it, that, that's just telling you that, that was really good umpiring by yeah. Wolfgang Lund. Um, and especially because the, you see that it's, it's probably the toughest position to be in on the call to be the service judge, especially in the men's doubles. Yeah. So you shouldn't be using all your energy on talking to the players of, you know, uh, uh, to explain what happened and whatever and this and that. Uh, I think that, you know, more of uh, Wolfgang's uh, uh, types on the, the umpires than it will make the job easier. shuttle in a downward direction, no real pace for Matthias Bow to feed off. And again, taking it early, just guiding it down. 
he's good at that. That's his oh, good shot. Good shot by Carsten. So it's all um, and he's controlling it in, in the drift. Very, nine, very tough shot. 14. And, and that's, that's, you know, he's probably the best in the world for that. Matthias's backhand side, Leon Day following up. Look, backhand side, he can't get it on. Okay. Leon Day is already moving yeah. for it. And exposing that weakness we've talked about in the Matthias Bow defense. I think that's Bolton Kuhn's fastest of the day, 262. Did hit one yesterday at 270. But it's still. They, might, they have a five-point lead, the Koreans, but it's not decisive. No, it's not. There's totally ah! nobody better in the world than Matthias and, and Cast to come back from something like this. They, uh, Sixteen. They are ten. such tactically gifted players that they they will find a way if there is a way. <laughs> Play from the left hander. with them taking too much time this but is what they get out of it 13 16 but as we've talked about the, the line between playing within the rules playing fair and stepping over what is gaining unfair advantage of tactical play in other words gamesmanship is a very fine line it's a very blurred line Certainly, if the umpire isn't calling them to play on, then it's not against no! the rules. It's gone just right. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, I know, I can make me from wrong. I don't believe there is a time when you can get it. No, there isn't. So it is actually which is maybe difficult for the umpire. So he has to have an inner clock, and that can be difficult. Yeah. He has to control and it. He's got to have feel for it. You know, if there has been a tremendous rally at 18 all in the siding game after an hour and a half, ah! well, look at the body language now of Dosan Young. 18, three points away 13. from the third and deciding game. Game 
that it is one game apiece and we will be treated to a third and deciding game. First time this week yes. that we have had a deciding game on our television court. Yep. It took 17 matches before it happened. And this start here is going to be so vital. What's going to happen now here I think is that we will see cast and Matias come Buzz of anticipation around Final this game. magnificent arena here Double in Seoul. Play. One game apiece in the men's doubles final. World oh. well, number one, from Denmark. Far side of the court and the local hero, the sporting one. idol. There he is, Lee Yong Day, with his new men's doubles partner, Go Sung Hyun. Having taken the second game, 21-13 to force the decider. So it's going to be a, a, a challenge to take them in, and of course it's up for the Koreans to do the same because they they can't be standing in defense when they can't control it. So it's going to be a front court battle right now, I think. Perfect placement of the smash. I think they listened to you then. <laughs> what the Koreans? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they used it a few times. See there, front court. Nobody ever wants to give away the attack. Sorry, so far. A little point after the rally from Carsten Mogensen directly at Ghost and Kill. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Two, three. Fantastic rally. Good 
defence, good attack. But as so often, it's the attacking play that wins the day. Smart play struck oh, by Carson. Where did he get that first one back, Lee Young Day? Yeah. But you're right, smart play. Yeah, and the rotation. Forty is going to his forehand side and Carson coming forward on his forehand side. in between the two Danes, then they pressurise the left-hander out to his forehand side. And there, Fire. can't get Three. the shuffle away from the left-hander. Sometimes when you see Carsten hit that cross match, but people need to understand that if you're standing that side where Lee Young Day stood there, he wants to play it straight, it's straight down to Matthias' forehand. So, yeah, very effective shot. Good coverage by Lee. Good control as well, the drift. Seven, six, four. Unless the Danes keep this tight in this first half of the deciding game. Big trouble. Ah! And a sense, perhaps. But the thing they do now, the Koreans, which is very effective, is the first set when they played defense on this side, they were standing way too far back. If you look here, they are getting the shot Eight, so high. Four. They're already there. You see Leung Day moving forward on these uh, drops, uh, so, so they are quick on it. And therefore, they, even that it's, even that it's not all the way on the back, it's still moving past that quickly that it doesn't have time to, yeah. to, to place his shot. So, nine. Different four. style of defense. Yeah, perhaps they've been listening to us as well about their defensive stance. <laughs> See, coming forward. Yep. And that's a bit of discipline there from Go. Five. Nice. Smart, smart, smart. Shot by Matthias. Very particularly difficult. And the Dane needs to come in in their service situation now and get some points. So they need to. Really focus on the set play and, and then cast as it looks now need to play. really work from the back. Well, Carsten has 
to really work from the back. Has to start realizing that he needs to come with the hard smashes. Keep that to six. You can see Ten. how steep his smashes are. Seven. Ten. Oh, Matthias Bow doesn't want the shuffle changed. Change. The umpire agrees with the Koreans that it should be changed. Seven. Ten. Considering how the Danes struggled from this near side of the court in the second game, if you're a Danish fan, things are looking pretty ominous. But all credit, Jim, to the Koreans because they have upped their game. They have indeed, indeed, especially Young Bay has, has played much better than I've seen him for a while and he's coming seconds. forward, he's controlling the match. But then again, also got to give credit to, to, to Go, who's, who's, who's improved on some things. You can see they worked on some things, who, that is, he's not getting, you know, hesitating, he's not just lifting it away, he's actually trying to control his game. Um, so Lee and can, can come in where he's Eleven, based, so... Um, seven, play. Impressive. Matthias to come in and do anything on seven. it, um, which they really need to do now. They really need to come up and focus on the service return. Smart, smart return by Carsten. And so, so that's one thing they can do, make it, maybe do it a little bit simple. Eight. Just a short mid shot and get the attack. Shot from Matthias Bow, forced the dive from Leon Day, and left the court wide open. Well, not only fantastic when uh, Lee is playing the shot sitting on his, but that shot from there between the legs by Matthias is that one that does it all. And a very, 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 very important point for the Danes. Uh, that's a very big difference between 9, 12 and 13, 8. Mm. So uh, that point right there could be crucial. It could be yeah. very, very... It was a point that the Koreans actually thought they, would, they had won. So a uh, very, very crucial. It could Nine. be uh, what you call a momentum change. change. Well. Bo has got his hand in the air. He wants the tournament referee. I'm not quite sure why he thinks he can speak to the tournament referee. He can only speak to them on a point of law. Let's listen in to this. Oh, well. Wolfgang Lohmann taking off his microphone. He might not be able to hear. Hang on. He wants the service reps to be challenged, but I don't think so. She's, a, she's, a, she's got the case. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's 
it's terribly, terribly difficult to hear what he's saying. Well, I think Caster Mogensen is looking up towards the giant screen and saying, look, there was nothing wrong with my serve. You cannot overrule the service judge. Once the service judge has made the call, that is it. That's fine. It's not going to be overruled by the no, tournament they referee. Asked, they actually asked to, uh, they asked to t have the herb replaced. Well, that's not on either. This is... I think what they're trying to say is that, that, uh, that they also think one of the, I don't know which one of the Korean service to buy and she has to call it, but I, I, I don't agree on that one. No. You know, what, what I really like, you can debate, I can't see from here if it's high or not, what, what you can say is he's been consistent. So it's not, uh, exactly. it's the, not sometimes, or yeah. not days, he's been very consistent. The service judge, she has made the call that she's seen. Uh, I have to say, I don't think she's necessarily made any bad calls. I think she's made right decisions. And this, what is going on, is intimidation of yeah. the service judge. Yeah, and is. this should not be allowed to happen. No. The tournament referee, who's come out on court, should have just said to, his, to the Danish players, the decision has been made, you play on. And what he should do now, he should go over to her and say, Job well done. Yeah. Because right now she has no clue what happened. Yeah. Play. This point is so important, isn't it? The lights. Ten. Oh. There are lots of things going on right now on court. Challenging calls. And of course, that break, we didn't really need that. No. Exactly an hour of flight. Judges' calls or not isn't a point of law. Oh, Go is really, really playing well today. He's been uh, so far. <laughs> He's been very, very patient and very, very good variation. It's special to see that hitting on the backside. And so Lee and Day can come in and, and kill it. 10. Ah! 16, 10. The crowd are getting more and more enthused about the possibility of a Korean team here. 10. In fact, the crowd chanting Lee Yong Day. Seventeen. They have to be a little bit more cast and Matthias there are too quick. They have to really focus on getting back to that game plan. And right now they're hesitating too much, I think. Matthias Bow can't get himself out of trouble. Stepped on the shuttle. Oh, no, I'm surprised the umpire hasn't had a word with him about that. Well, the heat of the contest, I suppose you can make some allowances for. Oh, he's getting a little bit tense. Yeah. It, it does happen. I can't really say how that is. Jim shot. So. Two points away now, the Koreans. 90 from the 10. Track.
doubles by title now with new partner Go Sun Hyung. Well, it's their fourth title in four tournaments played. And that's how they did it. They beat the world number ones, 19-21, 21-13, 21 in the deciding game in an hour and four minutes. Very, very popular win. Well, what a match it was, what excitement here in Seoul for the home fans to witness the biggest star in Korean sport, not just badminton, in all of sport, I think Lee Yong Day, one of the most famous people in his home country here. So, success for Korea in the men's doubles and there's a possibility of a second title in the women's singles that of course will be coming up after the prize presentation then we'll have a repeat of the olympic mixed doubles final and then last of all lee chong way the defending the champion in his fifth consecutive final here in korea against Go so plenty still to come ladies and gentlemen now we will have a word for the women doubles matches and have to settle for second place. They were beaten finalists two years ago and have repeated that again this year in 
second Super Series title to add to the French Open that they won at the end of last year. But this their first ever Premier Super Series title together. Absolute delight. Four titles in four tournaments played for this new career pairing. And how nice to see Lee Yong-Dae's former partner. There he is, Jung Jae-sung. cheering his former partner on, congratulating him after the final, and absolutely delighted for him as well. Exciting and certainly it was, and some of it, sadly, for the wrong reasons. But it was a tremendous win for Go Sun Hyung and Lee Yong Day. All credit to them. Women's singles next, and it's a repeat of the final from three years ago. Then we've got mixed doubles and a repeat of the Olympic final from last year. And then, of course, men's singles will conclude finals day here from the Victor Korea Open. Way, the defending champion in his fifth consecutive final. That's our last So to our third final of the day, and it's another chance for Korea to take a title in their home event. Court officials coming on to court. Sun Ji Hyung, of course, the 21-year-old from this very city, Seoul, South Korea. Her opponent, Wang Shoshian, 22 years of age, so she'll turn 23 next month. And of course, Wang Shoshian is the defending champion. This Chinese player is in the fourth consecutive final year three years ago, came out on finals day. She never won a Super Series title. Sung Ji Hyun will. She win her title. Well, 
Wang Shoshian. Last night playing here in Korea. Fourth consecutive final because, of course, she was champion when she beat Sung Ji Hyung back in 2010. Lost in the final in 2011 to Wang Yihan. And, of course, won the title last year, beating her teammate Jiang Yang Jiao in the final. Oh, quite a height difference between these two players. The tall, elegant Sung Ji Hyung from Korea. There she is. Number seven in the world rankings, up one place. And this is the highest she's ever been, although she did spend three weeks at number seven at the end of 2011. So back up to her highest ever position in the world ranking. And she's had a pretty good run so far, hasn't she? all of her matches in two straight games, including that second round encounter against last year's beaten finalist, the number seven seed, Jiang Yang Jiao of China. So this for Song Ji Hyun, her third Chinese opponent of the tournament. Wang Shuxiang, as I say, 22 years of age, number five in the world ranking. And the number five seed here from Suzhou in southeast Jiangsu province.